Big girl things, big girl purchases. <laughs> yeah, I look good. Yeah. Receiving gifts is my form of self care, and I feel like I deserve a pick me up. I, you know, I didn't do anything to deserve it, but I deserve it. I'm literally running on two hours of sleep, so I look tired. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Show the leg, give the boys a little skin. What's poppin' everybody? It's your girl Talitha. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're starting the vlog off on a Sunday. Club going up on a Sunday. Not really, but kind of. I am getting ready to go to the Key Glock concert. If you don't know who Key Glock is, you're missing out. He is a rapper, one of my favorite rappers, might I add. And yeah, we're gonna go see him for the fifth time. I am going with my friend Emma, so y'all get to meet Emma, she's great. We've known each other since elementary school and we've like recently started hanging out more. So I'm excited for y'all to meet Emma, she's a vibe. We love Emma over here. Let's, let's, let's start getting ready because I have to leave in 30 minutes and there's nothing on my face yet. Now she cut me with Play with this, I'll change you down where I'm from, we should keep this Do you remember? Why am I like this? It goes to a rap concert, a trap concert, and listens to Michael Jackson. I don't understand why I am the way I am. I forgot to put primer on. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Cause today of all days is the day we need it. This is what happens when I rush, I forget steps. We're not doing the full face because I get to dancing and all the makeup guy. <laughs> Do you remember the top? Whoops. I'm literally running on two hours of sleep, so I look tired. You know what's in my future? A Red Bull. Yeah. Yeah, heavy on the Red Bull. Why you gotta fight with me at Cheesecake? You know I love to go did you put lipstick on to come down here? No, I didn't wear it today. I should probably put my glasses on. No, I'm not! I'm messing with you. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I hope so. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Appreciate you. This is the finished look. We did a little ponytail, and then this is the jumpsuit. Y'all see, it's an accident waiting to happen, but it's okay. <laughs> We're gonna make it work. Y'all, my Gucci's out, but it's okay. We just gonna keep her in. I'm home, clearly. It is, I want to say, 2.30ish in the morning. We got back not too long ago. I had fun, but I guess, I don't know, I'm kind of realizing that I'm not really like a nightlife type of girl. I mean, although it's glamorized, I don't know if that's like my vibe for real because being in these sections with these rappers, it'd be so crowded and hot and everyone's trying to like push you to like get in the section. I'm like, girl, you know if, <sighs> baby, please. Stop. It's just a lot. And then being around like drinking and smoking, the smoking aspects, not for Talitha. Just being like out and like clubbing and hanging around like, I guess rappers in particular is a lot. It's a lot, especially cause I'm antisocial and I kind of forgot how like, you know, I like to stay in my little Talitha Jane bubble and come out when necessary. I still have fun though. The rooftop bar, 10 out of 10, definitely have to go back there for sure. And then the concert was cool. We got to sit in like a little VIP section. After the concert, we went to the after party. And like I said, the section was just hella crowded. Like I just, 
I'd be better off in my own section, but then I wouldn't pay for my own section. So it was cool though, definitely a vibe. I'd do it again because I didn't pay for nothing. <laughs> Tomorrow's Monday. Usually I take Mondays off because Sundays are so long for me, but we already started vlogging. So we're just gonna keep the momentum up. It's a gym day. I'm looking forward to going to the gym because I drank so much today that I kind of just want to sweat it all out and just really release that and leave that there, you know? We're going to Houston this week. Mm, 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 mm. I'm getting my hair done while I'm out there, but I also have this really fire Airbnb and I want to like get content. So I'm gonna probably plan outfits tomorrow because if I don't do it tomorrow, it's not getting done. Yeah, your girl is tired. I'm exhausted. I don't know how I went through waking up at 10 today, going to church, getting ready, going to a concert, going to a bar, going to an after party, and driving and all of that on three hours of sleep. Yeah, um, tomorrow is a, it's a wake up when you feel like it type of day. And I'm just so thankful that that is the career that I have, that I don't have to report to nobody but myself. So I'm gonna catch y'all in the morning, not even the morning, the afternoon, because let's be honest here, I'm probably gonna wake up at like two o'clock. What's good, everybody? That sounded like I was starting a new video and I'm definitely not. Today is Tuesday, <laughs> it's Tuesday. I leave to go to Houston tomorrow and I'm really excited. I haven't traveled in like two months and I've gotten so in my routine being at home that I'm like, I don't know if I wanna go, but it's only for three days, so it's okay. I have a lot planned, it is a very packed schedule for the three days i'm out there so i'm trying to like pack right now y'all know i'm huge on like fashion clearly i treat every single outfit like it's going to be photographed like it needs to be perfect so my toxic trait is i try on every single one of my outfits before i travel to make sure i like it is that kind of crazy yeah do i care no we have all the clothes laid out this is everything i need it is three days i'm wear but content you know that and i have like i said a lot planned i'm seeing one of my friends i'm going i plan on going out once potentially twice we'll see that's why you know i got options so yeah i'm only doing like two content outfits though so yeah but you already know the vibes <laughs> It's almost one in the morning. I was craving in and out so I made the mission over here to get it before they close. I was talking to my realtor, Sarah, and she sent me a list, a list, a list of um, condos we're gonna view on Friday, and there's one that is like absolutely fire. It's under my budget, and it checks off all my boxes. So I'm like praying that, God, if this is, the door you're having me walk in quite literally please keep it open and if it's not slam that thing closed like please because literally praying that god removes all people and closes all doors that are not allowing me to serve his purpose you'll be lonely and disappointed but it helps thank you thank you so much the following day Good morning everybody so it's 9 39 i'm about to head to the airport my flight leaves at 11 15 but I literally live like 10 minutes from the airport, so I'd be high. I have just arrived. <coughs> Excuse me. I just arrived to my Airbnb. I'm only here today, tomorrow, and Friday. I leave Saturday morning. Let me give y'all a quick little Airbnb tour. Here is the kitchen. This is what I really loved about it. I book Airbnbs like I'm gonna live here, so I have to make sure I like it. And the kitchen is really what sold me on it. It's living room, there's a backyard, but it's raining out today. If you go upstairs, this is the bathroom, and this is also why I booked it, because like, look at this. The nicest bathtub I think I've ever seen. And then the shower is over here. The toilet is over here. And then this is really pretty. 
Mm. <laughs> and then this is like um closet. See, this is the type of closet I need. All that space. And then here is the bedroom. The only thing I don't like about it is there's no TV in here. It looks like there was was a TV and they took it down, but I just wish there was a TV because it's too quiet for me. I think what I'm gonna do now is order some food. I have emails to catch up on and then I wanna go to the mall because I love shopping in the Galleria Mall as opposed to the one in Denver because Denver doesn't even have like a real mall in comparison to the one out here. Girl, I'm about to just found my taxes. I'm about to blow the tax return money. Last time I was in Houston, talked about this food truck. Oh my goodness. It's called Clutch City Cluckers. And I, literally every time I come here, that is the first meal as soon as I touch down because it's just so freaking good. It's already glistening. I had to I had to dig into it before I showed y'all. But I know that when I move here, I'm probably gonna gain like a cool 10 to 15 pounds because the food We don't eat like this in Colorado and it, it's gonna show. So if y'all see me gaining weight, that's my business. It is like a 9 15-ish. You could probably tell I did my makeup. Looking cute. I kind of fixed my hair. I'm about to go see a friend who lives out here. I haven't seen him in forever, so I'm really excited. I definitely took a nap, so that was nice. And right now, I um, I'm waiting for. I ordered a sweet tea and ice cream because <laughs> that's I don't know. I was just craving that. I think he he said he was coming to give me a ten, which is kind of late. But I don't think we're doing anything fancy. I think we're just gonna go to like a bar, get some drinks because I love a good drink. And then, yeah, I told him I'm not being out past midnight, so you got me for two hours. The main reason I'm here is to get my hair done and then look at more houses. So the hair part is for Coachella. I'm getting braids. Yeah, Friday we're looking at more houses, so. Here is the outfit that I'm wearing. It's raining. Not raining, but like sprinkling, so I think I'm gonna bring my jean jacket because that's all I bought. This skirt set is from Fashion Nova. It's kind of like trying to expose me a little bit, but you know, show the leg. Give the boys a little skin. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> have this pink Mega Cores purse and then the shoes, y'all. Heelless heels. I love these shoes. They're from Pretty Little Thing, and surprisingly, they're a lot more comfortable than stiletto heels, which makes no sense, but I like it. I have my light and my phone set up over there. I'm gonna try to take pictures before I leave, but we'll see how they turn out because I'm really not feeling the aesthetic of this area. But we'll see how it goes. The following day. Good afternoon, everybody. So it's like two o'clock. Why did I say it like that? Two o'clock. I am so tired. Like, y'all, mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. About to leave to get my hair done, hence the uh, questionable appearance, but while I'm waiting for my Uber, we're gonna make a smoothie. I am back from my braiding appointment. I didn't vlog it cause I just, I have a headache and I'm really tired. So I was like, I'm just not even worry about filming this. Y'all just see the end result. This is what they look like. I absolutely love them. They're so pretty. Like, I don't know, look, yeah, get into the curls. Curls for the girls. And they're like super long too. I love, I love, I love, I love. If you're in Houston or if you're like me and willing to make the trip, Mobile Land Beauty Palace, I will link the Instagram down below because it's not even, I wouldn't say expensive, it's a luxury and you get what you pay for and I would rather pay someone to do it right then pay someone to do it wrong and then pay again for them to fix it. As for the rest of the night, I am extremely tired. I was gonna get content, but I don't think I have it in me. If I do, I'll let you guys know. And this headache is like killing me. I've accomplished, not even I, God has accomplished so much through me in terms of social media. And the next step for me is just expanding, getting out of a small city and doing what I love to a bigger extent, you know? I am infinitely blessed and so grateful to even have this like space to even consider things like that. Like I'm literally barely 23, 22 years old, saving up money to buy my own property. Like that's crazy to me. 
question for those of you who live in Houston it doesn't always rain this much out here because I'm here for four days and it's been raining non-stop where I live in Denver I know that it's safe I know the people I know the area I'm familiar with it but I think it's just the unfamiliarity that scares me but I think it's time for me to get uncomfortable I've become super complacent not even complacent but I feel like it makes you uncomfortable and you can never grow in a place you're comfortable in. So I don't know, I feel like it's time to add some pressure, you know? I'm a Sarah, my realtor. She's so sweet. She's literally picking me up in like 20 minutes, so I need to hurry up and do this makeup. And then she's bringing me Starbucks, like y'all, for real. Sarah's the go. If you're in Houston, Katie, and you're looking for a place to rent or buy, Hit her up. I'll leave her email down below because she's amazing. You're at the first place. You want to see Sarah? She looks so good. Do you want to be on my vlog? Do you mind? She did her hair and it looks beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful realtor, Miss Sarah. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I love a corner unit. This building was actually one of the very first places we toured in 2021, so. There's like a man, where is he? Right there, but you can't tell. And I think the Toyota Stadium is literally somewhere in one of these corners, but. I like it. It's like cute. This is one of my favorite spots, so we might be living here. Who knows? <laughs> I like the size of the rooms. Yeah. I just wish, if anything, this was on top and the kitchen was on the bottom. Mm -hmm. This is, I think, the fourth. The fourth place we're at, this is my favorite building because it's so bougie and so nice. From the doorway. And then you have a half bathroom. Or no, this one. Oh, she's a full bathroom. Love that. This first, I wouldn't even call this a bedroom. This is a closet room slash office. Y'all already know what I'm going to turn it into. I love how the ceilings are super high in here. And this is the view from one of the rooms. Super cute. Here's the best part. I love the kitchen. And the best part about this is, look at the refrigerator. Yeah, it's a hidden refrigerator. This is the freezer. Yeah. I think it's between this one and the very first one so far. There's a balcony out here. There's two balconies. There's one that's like across the, the room. You get two balconies, which I really like. Look at the view. You really can't beat that, you know? Oh, there's people right there. That means I can't be naked outside because they will see everything. <laughs> but I love it. This is the second bedroom. It's kind of small. I don't know which way you put your bed if you lived in here. Mm hmm. Shower. This is a really big closet. We are back from viewing places. So, um, I think we saw six different units. I didn't show all of them because there was some that I just knew I wasn't even mm -mm, going to bother with. And then there was one that I really, really, really liked. And in case I did look there, I kind of got a little too much and I don't need people knowing where to find me. <laughs> so I didn't show that one either. But, um, between now and August, I'll probably make, if not sooner, between now and August, I will make another trip out here just to like, really finalized i'm stuck between two places and i'm like oh, y'all your girl is getting ready to to move to relocate the next steps for me are to speak with a lender because i am purchasing so i would have to take a loan out um yeah big big girl things big girl purchases <laughs> like it's really crazy that i can say i'm 23 
and about to own a home like a lot of people don't even own homes the entirety of their life so it's just a blessing to even put that into perspective based on the timeline that i get that qualification letter will kind of determine when i move my dad's birthday is may 1st so i'm definitely going to wait until after and then my brother's graduation is may 24th so i really didn't want to move in the summer but i'm not opposed to it if that's what the timeline that god puts me on that's for the rest of the night it is currently 4 22. i was supposed to get content today but i'm like i don't really feel like it i want to i want to watch netflix or hulu or something and just chill i was like on the couch last night kind of stressed out because i've been really in my head about social media recently and i don't know why because i used to never worry but i think in worrying i'm taking well let me run that back one of my favorite things to remind myself is don't pray and worry it's like if you prayed about it leave it like let it go worrying does nothing but stress me out like whatever is gonna be will be and it's out of my control so girl just let it go yeah i decided because i am very overwhelmed i'm giving myself a break and it may not seem like a break to you guys because i'm not like gonna stop posting but at least on tiktok i try to post every day and that's really starting to take a toll on me so i'm just gonna really focus on quality over quantity with tiktok stay true to the Talitha jane aesthetic i was trying to be like somebody else and i'm not them and being me is what got me here so as for tonight like i was saying <laughs> i think i'm just gonna pack and just chill and just enjoy my time alone when i have no responsibilities <laughs> two hours later i figured while i'm here i'm just gonna go shopping because y'all know receiving gifts is my form of self-care and i feel like i deserve a pick-me-up you know i didn't do anything to deserve it but i deserve it and literally on wednesday i'm leaving for coachella and i still have one more outfit that i need to figure out i need to go home and like try everything on and make sure it like fits and next week is going to be crazy but while i'm here i want to see if i can find a third outfit for coachella so i don't have to improvise that's the excuse i'm giving myself to justify shopping but like to be honest with y'all i've been wearing rihanna's fenty perfume and it's so good like it just smells so different it's one of those scents that like just sticks to you like everything i've sprayed even the air in the bathroom still smells like fenty and i sprayed it this morning so i'm in the louis vuitton store right now there's this necklace that i want so i'm gonna buy it because i deserve it it's okay treat yourself <laughs> baby wins oh my gosh hi talitha and i'm left-handed so i'm facing the opposite way oh you are okay so there's your review in here gorgeous and we're gonna pop her in here and here is your necklace. She's already in here. She oh. has her own little dust bag. Her necklace. Oh, Louis. There's Louis. Okay. And here is your tissue. <laughs> okay. And voila. You love your cameras for real. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm in the Balenciaga store because I think that was self-explanatory. My most owned designer thing is Balenciaga. I didn't plan on this being like a designer shopping trip, but shoot, if you got it, you got it, you know? Now y'all see that blanger on my neck. I already showed TikTok. I did a little haul, but um, can we talk about what I just bought you guys? It's no surprise that I'm heavy on the treat yourself energy. Like what else is new here? But I've wanted this necklace for a while and I was gonna buy a fake one, but I'm like, I'm in Houston. We don't have a Louis Vuitton store in Colorado. Well, we do, but it's like an hour from where I live. Every time I come to Houston, I'm like one step closer to buying a house. So I'm like, let me just treat myself while I'm out here, you know? I love it. Y'all, she heavy. Oh, goodness. She heavy. My neck is weighing down. This perfume, low key, when she was showing it to me, I knew it wasn't gonna be cheap, but I didn't really look at the price until she gave me my total. I said, girl, what? This perfume was $600. Yeah, that's a little ridiculous. And I was like, I'm gonna just take it back. But then I smelled it again and I'm like, bro, keep it. Low key, I'm kind of embarrassed because I come to Houston all the time. So I didn't feel the need to tell my bank I was traveling. And when I swiped that card, it said decline. I was like, <laughs> and 
That is like everyone's biggest nightmare when they go into a, <laughs> a designer store. And I'm like, dang. I mean, I we know I'm good for it, but not the decline. I was literally on hold with the bank for 30 minutes. But I love it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's Louis V. I'm Louis T. Perk. Look at my teeth. If y'all want the teeth whitening regimen, let me know. Also, if you saw me while I'm in Houston, thank you for saying hi. And if you ever see me in public, do not ever hesitate to stop me. Sometimes I be looking crusty. I ain't gonna hold you. But if you see me since up, because meeting y'all, it like, it affirms so much in me. And I just love seeing y'all light up when you meet me. I'm like, ooh. Well, hey girl or boy we don't judge so yeah just say hi because i love you guys complete the heart did you do it okay good talk i have my outfit on for pictures you can probably tell by the red i think you saw me pack them so you already know what she was like i don't care what anyone says these boots are fire and i think the outfit is really giving what needs to be giving my style aesthetic is really it's not what you wear but how you wear it heavy on that. The next day. Good morning, everyone. So it's Saturday. <laughs> it's 6.30 in the morning. About to head to the airport to go home. I'm sad because the last day here is always my favorite. I'm ready to go home. I'm like super tired. I did not go to sleep last night. I'm ready to hit my bed, but I get to see my best friend today, so I'm not even mad about it.